Hey everybody, I'm here at ReMars and I ran into a really cool demo here at the Expo Hall that I really wanted to show off to you guys. So I'm here with Rich and I want to show you all these cool things that their tactile telerobot is doing. Rich, can you walk us through the experience and what you can do with it? Sure. So the idea here is that we have the best robot hands in the world combined with these amazing fingertip touch sensors, the little green things you can see there. Those give the robot a sense of touch and the ability to pick things up and handle them. Over on the back, you can see the gloves my colleague's wearing. Those gloves give him the actual sense of touch from the robot, so he can feel what the robot feels. And at the same time, the gloves measure where his fingers are, so his fingers can control the robot. So this is the first time anyone's really put together a system like this, where you have two hands and the ability to do something remotely, at a distance, safely, reliably, quickly, easily. That is so cool. And I also can't help but admire the position of the way he's being able to build that tower up. So, quick question, how is this useful? Like, what kind of markets do you see using this? Sure, so that's a really important question. There's no point doing this because just because it's fun. We wouldn't be here if it was. This has several important markets. One is very simple. You can put the robot somewhere dangerous. You don't have to go somewhere that might be a nuclear site, might be a, a chemical plant, might be somewhere that's just grim and unpleasant. The second is you can use this to teach a robot how to do a task that currently is beyond the ability of robots. So a human can show the machine and then the machine can do the task. And thirdly, you can put the robot somewhere you want to go but you can't get to. Maybe it's a long way away and you don't like traveling, maybe you're ill, maybe you're stuck. You can use the robot to be somewhere and do things there. So I hear that you folks have basically three different teams and you dial in in your virtual meetings through Zoom in different locations of the world and one person could be in the US with the gloves, the other person is in the UK with the robot. Is that accurate? Yes, we have a US, UK and Japanese team working on this. The sponsors are ANA, the airline, and we've been working globally to do this. It's been a fantastic collective work. Well, that is so cool to hear about. Rich, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for walking us through thank this. You. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye.